Corplex P is the first human-derived umbilical cord device to be cleared by the FDA for wound management. The human umbilical cord is comprised of a diverse array of ECM components that are retained in Corplex P. Provided in a particulate format, Corplex P offers high conformability in irregular wound beds, as well as allows exit it to exit the wound. Inside Corplex P's box, you'll find instructions for use, a tissue utilization record card, and a sterile vial secured within a clear pouch. The sterile barrier system consists of a clear pouch that contains the vial and the vial contents, which are provided sterile. The product vial alone is not qualified as a sterile barrier. Once the vial has been removed from the sterile pouch, Corplex P should either be used or discarded. Store Corplex P in a clean, dry environment at room temperature in the unopened and undamaged package. Protect the product from freezing, excessive heat, and high humidity. Corplex P's expiration date is reflected on the product label. Preparing the device. Peel open the pouch using the chevron opening and remove the sterile Corplex P vial using aseptic technique. Once the pouch seal has been compromised, the device shall either be transplanted, if appropriate, or otherwise discarded. Upon application, discard the vial and all unused material in accordance with biohazard protocols. Remove the foil cap from the vial. Remove the stopper. Corplex P may be applied to the wound in a rehydrated state and may be applied to the wound directly from the vial. Use aseptic technique when preparing and applying Corplex P. For a pourable consistency, introduce the recommended volume of sterile 0.9% saline into the open vial. The particles will become visibly hydrated upon contact with sterile saline. Prior to pouring directly from the vial, lightly agitate to ensure particle hydration. For a paste consistency, slowly add sterile saline to the particles until the desired consistency is obtained. Apply the device immediately following preparation for use. If needed, use a sterile instrument to dispense particles. The device should contact the wound bed up to the wound margins. Up to 8 cc of Corplex P may be applied per procedure. Use appropriate secondary dressings according to standard clinical practice. Consider using a non-adherent dressing to help protect the tissue while facilitating an optimal moist wound healing environment. Corplex P may be reapplied every seven days or as determined necessary by a healthcare provider. Change the secondary dressings according to standard of care, taking into account the level of exudate. Corplex P will be incorporated into the wound over time and may be visibly present at a seven-day follow-up. Please fill out the tissue utilization record card and return it to STEM Labs using the self-addressed postage paid mailer.